This lesson is on the distributive property. Distributive property is multiplication. You'll see on number one, I have three times two because when you have a number beside parentheses, that is understood to be multiplication. Three times two is six. On number two, I have an, a numerical expression inside the grouping, which I'm supposed to do first. Two plus four is six. Then I multiply or distribute three times six and I get 18. Another way to have done that is using the distributive property. Instead of following order of operations and doing two plus four first, I could distribute this three times two to get six and three times four to get positive 12, then combine like terms, my two constants, six plus 12 is 18. And we could circle our answers. There is no reason to do distributive property when you have a numerical expression inside of the grouping. However, when you have an algebraic expression inside of the grouping, there is a reason to do it because I can't do the grouping. Two plus n, those are not like terms. I cannot combine them. So I have to do the distributive property. Three times two is six. Three times n is three n. And we should always write our answer where we end with the constant. 3n plus 6 is your answer in simplest form. There are two terms in your answer. On number 5, I could distribute this 3 to all the terms in parentheses. There are four terms. So 3 times y squared, then times the second term, the third term, the fourth term. However, what else you could do and what I would do is try to do the grouping first. Within this grouping, I actually have like terms. So I'm going to combine like terms first. 3y minus 1y is 2y. I'm going to bring down the rest of it. That was a positive 2y. And my distributor is a 3. Now that everything inside the grouping is done, I'm ready to distribute. 3 times y squared is 3y squared. And you don't have to draw these lines if you don't want. 3 times 2y is 6y, and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and there's our answer. 3y squared plus 6y minus 6. Your distributor could be on the right side like it is for number 6. You still distribute 2 times both of the terms in parentheses. Two times three y cubed is six y cubed, and two times negative one y is negative two y. This is written correctly because you go in descending order of exponent, three, then one, then any constant if we have, so that is the correct answer. Now is a, uh, well, let's look at one more. Number seven, I don't have any grouping symbols, so there's no distributive property. I look for like terms. I don't have any like terms. Sometimes the answer is simplified. There's nothing to do. It is in simplest form. Now would be a great time if you would like to pause the video and you try to work the rest of them out before I do and then restart the video to check your answer, but I'm going to keep going straight through. I don't have anything I can do inside the grouping. There are no like terms, so I'm ready to distribute. Negative six times r is negative six r. Negative six times three g is negative 18 g. And negative six times negative t, same sign positive, different sign negative when you multiply. So same sign, I get positive six t. And there's my answer. My answer contains three terms. Number nine, again, pause the video if you'd like to try it on your own. I have like terms inside the grouping. One n squared and negative one n squared zero each other out and only leave me with two terms to distribute. Negative two times negative one n is positive two n, same sign positive. Negative two times positive four is negative eight, different sign negative when you multiply. Number 10, okay, I look, can I do what's in the grouping first? No, 
The next thing I do is distributive property. Two times three n squared is six n squared. Two times negative one is negative two. And this was a positive six. Now I could bring these two terms down or I could just understand that this is all one line and these two terms have replaced this parentheses. So now I have four terms here, 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 and here. I look to combine like terms, I only have one cube. So I write it four n cubed. I have a couple of n squares, negative two plus six is positive four n squared. And I have one constant negative two. So your answer is four n cubed plus four n squared minus two. Number 11. Again, look, can I do what's inside the grouping? I cannot. So I distribute two times n cubed is two n cubed. Two times n squared is two n squared. And two times negative one is negative two. I've taken care of all of this. I could just bring these two down like this, or I could just imagine they're all in the same line. All right, like terms, I've got two cubes, four n cubed plus two n cubed is six n cubed. I only have one square, two n squared, so I bring it down. And now I have two constants, negative two plus one is negative one. So your answer has three terms. And let's do one more. I look inside the grouping, can't do anything. Distributive property is our next step. Three times four is 12x, and three times three is nine. I can bring down the six x minus two. I have like terms. I have 12x, positive six x. When I combine those, that gives me 18x. And I have like terms, my two constants, positive nine and negative two. Nine minus two is seven. Your answer contains two terms, 18x, plus seven. And that is our video on distributive property. Thank you.